Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm comparing the Energizer Max and the Duracell Optimum, and I'm gonna find out which one of these two batteries is the best value and which one lasts the longest. I'll be draining the batteries at 200 milliamps, which is comparable to a flashlight on medium brightness. I'll be draining them down to 0.9 volts, which means the battery is basically dead. So let's see how these two batteries do. Let's start the test. Testing's over, and these results are so close. Energizer Max lasted 7 minutes longer than the Optimum, but the Optimum lasted longer than the Energizer Max in the optimal voltage range. So I labeled voltages using green, yellow, and red colors because voltage is very important. As batteries drain, the voltage drops, and every device has a minimum voltage it will run on. For example, one of my old digital cameras stopped working at 1.1 volts, which means that the power in the red and yellow ranges is completely useless for that camera. So the Optimum is a better battery because it will work longer in most devices, but we'll have to compare price to see which one is a better value. I checked Amazon and using the best prices I found, I created this chart. The Energizer Max in a 48 pack offers a really good value at 25.2 hours per dollar, but in a 12 pack, the value is much closer to that of the Optimum. So considering that the Duracell Optimum lasted longer in the green voltage range, I would prefer the Optimum 12-pack over the Energizer Max 12-pack if the price per pack was very similar. Since the Optimum lasted longer in the green voltage range, let's update the chart and compare battery life per dollar in the green range only. The Max offers 8.78 hours per dollar and the Optimum 8.53, so when compared in a 12-pack, these two batteries offer a very similar value. So to sum it up, the Optimum is a slightly better battery than the Max, but the Energizer in a 48 pack offers an amazing value because the cost per battery is much cheaper. But there are other batteries to consider, so make sure to check out my other video where I compare these two batteries with six other batteries. I have it linked up in the cards. I also have some links in the video description below where you can buy some AA batteries online. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'll be posting more videos in the future. Thanks for watching!